Hi, friends. Most times on Christmas Eve, I would be sitting with you here in Bethel Hall, or I might have seen you a few minutes earlier running around dressed as an angel or a donkey or a sheep over at the historic church. It's not the same to not be together, but we are still together, together in God's love, together as one church family. So I welcome you to our worship on Christmas Eve. It's almost Christmas. We can finally say, as the sun is setting, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so this is the darkest time of the year. The days are short, with the light going away, the night coming the night coming even before bedtime for a lot of you, I bet. We've been waiting for the light to come back. And this year it seems like we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the light, for Jesus. But the light has come back. The days have started getting longer. Even if it's much too soon, for us to see it. We know that this is true. The light is coming back, and now Christmas is here. The mystery of light on earth comes to light the way. So all through the season of Advent, we've been waiting. The light started with just one blue candle, blue for expectation, and anticipation, and royalty. And every week, the light grew and grew until we had one, two, three, four Advent candles burning. And there is a new light with us tonight. A lot of us keep a white candle in the center of our Advent wreath that we call, we call it the Christ candle, and we light that when Christmas has finally come. The sun has set, and we can now say, Merry Christmas. The people who walked in darkness saw a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. We heard those words in the reading from the prophet Isaiah, they walked in darkness, but on them a light has shined. I wonder what that great light could be. I wonder. If I had all of you sitting here with me in Bethel Hall tonight, I know somebody would say, Jesus, it's Jesus. I think so. I wonder if Mary and Joseph felt like they were walking in the darkness. Not just the literal darkness. They knew that this baby would be the Messiah, the star child of God. Yet they had no place to go. They had no choice but to leave Nazareth and walk to Bethlehem. And walk and walk. This took several days, and it probably took even longer because Mary was about to have a baby. No one would take them in. They sought refuge in a stable. This could not have been easy. So in our midst, in the midst of our comfort and joys, in this wonderful, sparkly, joyful time of year, we also know that many in our world are in a land of deep darkness. This has been a hard time. There are a lot of unknowns. There are a lot of things right now that are scary and different and new. It is easy to be overwhelmed. It is easy to be afraid. 
but the angels have a message. They say, do not be afraid, for behold, I'm bringing you some good news. Behold, it's an old-fashioned, fancy kind of word, but it means look, look. But listen closely to that word. Will you say it with me? Behold, be, hold. Be here, in this place, wherever we are, with the Christ child now among us today. Be Christ's light out of this place, shedding light on the land of deep darkness. Hold in your heart everyone who needs that light. Hold closely the joy of Jesus, the great light of Christmas. Do not be afraid. Behold, the dark night wakes, the glory breaks, and Christmas comes once more. Amen. <laughs>